And, and, oh, and it's based on the truth. God bless you. <laughs> That's, that's the idea. You, really? Are you meant to say God bless you for uh, Tootsie well, Business down no, below it, as well? It, it started, there's some relative of mine, a little four-year-old, who was walking with a friend, and she passed wind. She farted. And she said to her friend, Maxie, don't you say God bless you? He says, no, you only say God bless you for sneezing. She says, no, God bless you is for sneezing and farting. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to say fart when I was a kid. It was a naughty word. I don't I, even know if I'm allowed to say that's it now. Exactly why I'm, that's exactly what the book is about. Because the kids in the they asked the teacher in the class. He says, I asked the teacher. She asked the teacher. Maxie didn't know you're supposed to say God bless you for farting. See, you're saying it all the time, Carl. Well, you're going to get us in terrible trouble. No, no. Be, oh, right. The book is about that. And what happens is that it, the kids in the class tell their pa parents about it. One parent is on Door of the Explorer. He's a cartoonist. He cartoons. Tunes a little girl farting on the show. Hey, don't, will you stop saying it, Carl? I will not. It's my, my, my patriotic right. My, I know, I know. I get my it. atheistic right to say right, it. Yeah, all right, all right. Anyway, what happens? Sasha and Malia at the White House see it. They invite the kid to the White House. Did this actually happen? Or no, it's in the no, book. No, it's in the book. Right. All right. But that's, this is the end of the book. Right. There's this big dog, Bo, Bo. and, and Malia and um, uh, Sasha say, "God bless you, Bo." And the president says, we didn't hear him pass wind. And she says, we didn't either, but we smelt it. So, so now the whole world knows about it. So the New York Times, the Boston paper, every paper in the world says, feel free to fart. She opened it up so that now it is an acceptable thing. And if you, God bless something, you're no longer embarrassed. It's, what, a, what the, what it's the, a natural what thing. What the hell happened to you, man? Where did you go in there? <laughs> Why did you go on this crazy bottom sneezing <laughs> madness? I, does Jeffrey fart? Jeffrey Peterson? Yes. He's a, no, he doesn't have an intestinal tract. It would be almost impossible. <laughs> well, there you go. See, that we are so far superior to Peterson. We still live. We can fart. We can... By the way, I'm working on another book. I want to say God bless you for belching and maybe... No, for... no, we are calm! <laughs> You are here to raise the tone of the comedy on this show, this otherwise disgraceful piece of slapdash crap. Okay. We invite you on right, because you're right. in a class. All right, the, uh... But then you come on and all you talk about is bottom trouble. Uh, <laughs> there was a willow grows a slanter brook that shows his hall leaves in the glassy stream. There with fantastic garlands did she come, with crow flowers, nettles, daisies, and long purples that liberal shepherds give a grosser name. But our cold maids did dead men's fingers call them, where Whereupon, her clambering to hang her envious liver broke, and she. The, Queen Gertrude speaks Bulls. from Hamlet. <laughs> he has you. He has you. <laughs> I, you had me going there. I thought, oh, well, this is a bit classy. Now, but you were Queen just... Gertrude's speech from Hamlet. Oh, right. Gertrude's speech from Hamlet. Yes. Yeah, well, that's... Do, you see, you've got to find out uh, somewhere in the middle between Gertrude's speech from Hamlet, yes. right? Yes. And... Ooh, Bulls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> somewhere in the middle is, you know, light-hearted, late-night banter yeah. about, uh, uh, did you buy a house yet? I bought a house. Did you buy a house? No, I didn't. Well, come on, Carl! <laughs> what the hell? But I live in the same house since 1961. Okay, have you had a new kitchen put in? No. <laughs> oh, but you know something? What? I did something. I this I MC the uh, Directors Guild uh, um, Awards dinner, and I I'm 88. I know. I bought. I have a tuxedo. I bought a new tuxedo. Nice. And I'm saying to myself. 88, what do you need a new tuxedo? Because I want to continue on. Yes, I in think my that's head, yes. In my head, if you buy a new tuxedo, you can't go. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It's been proven. <laughs> Tuxedos for everyone. Yeah, tuxedos for everyone. I don't know, though. I, it's, I, it, well, you know what? It's as good a plan as any. I think I like it. <laughs> do you like hosting these award ceremonies? I, I, I love it. Really? I love it. Oh. Because I, a long time ago, I found I had this gift. I cannot prepare. And uh, you cannot prepare. Yeah, clearly, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> but I use what's, what's, what's up there. And right. I, and I, uh, 
I, I, I get there very nervous. And in my head, I said, if you, nothing comes to you, you'll go straight. I can say, and here he is, uh, Colin Firth. Right. Oh, I did a wonderful... Colin Firth, I had a great time with Colin Firth. And uh, they were... Colin Firth and... Uh, Jeffrey Rush. Jeffrey Rush was, right. was standing. And they had just performed. And I said, when I was a kid, 17 years old, I was an actor. I never wanted to be a comedian. I was doing... I did Shakespeare and, and tour. Played Gertrude, apparently, when I was 17, my first... <laughs> My first play, The Bishop Misbehaves, I came out and I said, hands up, all of you, with an English accent. <laughs> My friends, Motti and Schlemi, came to the play, and I said, what do you think? I was wearing a, a tails I bought for $10. And he, I said, what do you think, fellas? He says, yes. He says, you look great, but you sounded like a schmuck. <laughs> and I'm saying, now these two people, when I was a kid, I wanted to be Ronald Coleman or Robert Dona. When you speak with an English accent, you have the world. The world is yours. Mm. And when I heard Colin Firth speak, I said, that's what I want to speak. I said, Colin Firth and... and, and Jeffrey and Rush. They don't, they don't sound like schmucks, do they? Well, no, well, wait, 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 wait. You sound fine. And also, yeah, you know, Colin Firth is English. He's a terribly good actor. But Jeffrey Rush, to be fair, is an Australian. I know. It's yeah, really, and but not it, only is he Australian... It was Helen Bottom Carter. I was, oh, yes. yes. No, she was here recently. Oh. She's terribly nice, isn't oh, she? Oh, yeah. and funny. I saw her on your show. She she was hilarious. She's very, very funny. She... A little bit odd, though. Well, you're not. I'm not odd. <laughs> I am not odd. What I am is I'm just one man trying to get through and clearly not with not much help, is I what know. I'm doing. I, 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 we, we sit home and pity you every night. I, I, that's, how I, that's how I get the viewer. I, the only that's thing... how I get the viewer, Carl. Yeah, yeah. That's why CBS yeah. see me as a valuable yeah, property, sure. because they know kind-hearted people will watch the... Uh-oh. You know. <laughs> Right. And everybody feels superior. Exactly. They watch me and they go, well, it's not, at least we're not that guy. With a... Oh, by the way, God bless you. The, uh... The, uh... He's lying. Oh, am I, Carl? Am I? we got to go. Do you want an awkward pause or a mouth organ? A mouth organ. Mouth organ it is. Oh, I, I had an awkward pause. Oh, well, don't worry. I think we've had plenty of the awkward pause tonight anyway. <laughs> All right. You know, I, this is interesting. The world's greatest harmonica player is coming to visit me next. A guy named Stan Harper. Really? Who's played with every major orchestra in the world. He plays Beethoven, Brahms, Bruckner. He's a great, great... You know I can't get, get it out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tap it and unwrap okay. it. There you are. Oh, I, oh, this proves that it's never been played oh. before. <laughs> That's, That's all right. Five seconds. <laughs> uh. But Stan Harper, he's going to watch this and he's going to say, okay. Are you any good? Oh. Can you, because you, you know, oh. if, if you can play, you do win the golden harmonica. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna leave all Texas now. There's no more you. It's the best I've ever seen. <laughs> he can make it sing. Go right on the bottom of the right way. Next guest is one of the most talented chefs in the world. The first and only female Iron Chef in America. Please welcome Kat Cora, everyone. Yeah. Hold How me. Are you? Oh, baby. It's, so good to see it's you. lovely to see you. Uh, oh, and I, uh, before go we go ahead. any further, yes. God bless you. The, uh, <laughs> when we in the South, we say bless your heart. Really? Yeah, we say you, bless your heart. Bless your heart when you. Bless your heart. Well, yeah, and really? many other things, too. But, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> but I just want to say this floor looks clean enough to eat off of. Well, it does now. <laughs> It does now. They, they go frightened. What are we going to make? What are we making? Okay, this is all about Valentine's Day. Oh, all nice. Okay. Sex food. This is all about sex food and sensuality and aphrodisiacs and. Sex yeah. 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 yeah! yeah, baby. All right. Well, this is why you have a baby right all now. All right, these? They want to be Yeah, those. Please? Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this sexy cocktail, okay? So let's is come this on down for cocaine, Kat? Um, well, you know. All right. Well, all right. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you get in here and I'm going oh, to put you to work. Right. I'm going to put you to work. All right. Easy, easy cowboy. Right. Easy right. cowboy. Sorry I was excited. Right. Yeah, yeah, you were. Right. You got a little excited there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Just so clean the floor of it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. 
so this is going to be my little pomegranate spritzer. Right. So a little bit of nutmeg in there. I'm going to let you muddle it. So you Isn't just nutmeg there poisonous, like, guys? It's not. It's not. It's good for you. It's an All aphrodisiac. Right. Anything, right. like, look, anything. Oh, you yeah, know, nice. You think about it. I'm starting to think about it. See? A little bit of that yeah. action. Yeah, a little oh, bit of yeah. action. The exactly. nutmeg is really kicking right. in, guys. Anything round, anything round and oval. Yeah. Is it aphrodisiac? Yeah. Think about the egg. Yeah. That's how you have a baby right now, That's right? True, right? Yeah. The, the egg, egg anything that looks at an egg, fertility, sexuality, sensuality, those yeah. kinds of things. Right. So.